Hello and welcome to this answer video. In this answer video, I'll be talking you through the answers for the worksheet unit and non-unit fractions, as well as some of the trickier bits to do with this skill. So question one asks us to match the fractions below to the representations uh, by shading or circling the correct parts. So some of these are empty and we'll have to shade them in. Others we'll have to circle to show the fraction. So let's look at A, three out of 10 equal parts. So the only one that's showing 10 equal parts is number four down here. So we're gonna to have to shade three of those parts in, which means our fraction would be three tenths or three out of 10 equal parts. So A matches two, four. Let's look at B two-fifths, so we we'll need to find something with five parts that make the whole, and that's number three down here, the bar, one, two, three, four, five parts, so we need to shade in two of those parts to make it two-fifths. So three matches to B. C is one-sixth, so we're looking at something that's been split into six equal parts. So we've got this triangle here, which is six parts, or there's the six pieces of fruit over here. So I'm gonna shade in one of these parts on number two. So that means I've got one shaded out of the six, one sixth, and that means two matches to C. D is two thirds. So something that's in three equal parts, makes the whole is these stars. I need to circle two of them for two thirds. That means number one matches to D. And the last one, E, five out of six equal parts. So I could have shaded five of those if I hadn't, hadn't already used it, but I've got five left, which is the fruits. So I need to circle five of them out of the six to match five sixths, which then means E matches to number five. Number two wants us to complete the sentences and the fractions to describe the representations. So the first representation is a circle with some green parts shaded in. Now, if you count those up, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, you've got six parts which have been shaded. So six will be your numerator for the first one. That's the top number in the fraction. And there's 10 parts all together. Four of them haven't been shaded. So we're looking at six tenths as the fraction. And written, it would be six out of 10 equal parts. For the second one, there are three shapes, I think they're marbles, three marbles, circled out of five. So we're looking at three of the parts and five make up the whole. So we're looking at three fifths as our fraction. And it would be three out of five equal parts. And for the final one, there are one, two, three, four, five parts shaded brown. And there are eight parts all together. So five eighths have been shaded. That's what your fraction would look like. And written down as a sentence, we would have five out of eight equal parts. Question three wants us to use those digit cards to complete the sequence by making the fractions. So here we have a unit fraction less than one whole. Now, if we remember a unit fraction is a fraction with a one as its numerator, that's the top number. So I can use a one digit there and then any other number to make it a unit fraction, which would be less than a whole. I could put a four in one quarter 
is a unit fraction less than one whole. A whole would be in four quarters, all four parts. The second one, a non-unit fraction equal to one whole. So a non-unit fraction would be a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is greater than one. So I could use five here. I could write it down or I could use the numeral five out of and it has to be equal to one whole. So five as my numerator has to be the same as five as my denominator. Five out of five equal parts. If I'm looking at five of the parts and there's five in the whole, I'm looking at the whole thing. The third one, a non-unit fraction less than one whole. I could use my three here. It's over one as a numerator, so that means it's a non-unit fraction, but it's not a five. If it was a five at the top, that would mean five fifths and one whole. So I could use three fifths. The fourth one, a unit fraction equal to one whole. Now remember, a unit fraction is something with one as a numerator and a whole to make it equal here. I'm going to have to use my one as my denominator. They have to be the same. The whole thing is one part here, and I'm interested in one part. That's the same as one whole, where my numerator and denominator are the same. So that was an answer video for unit and non-unit fractions by Classroom Secrets, and I hope you found it useful. Remember, you can watch the linked video tutorial for this skill over on kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk, or you can practice this skill with loads more resources over on classroomsecrets.co.uk.